hey guys welcome back or welcome to another vlog um so i wanted to chat with you guys today about all of my current non-toxic favorite products jameson went down for his nap and manix went to the playground with colin so i thought you know what i just took a shower to freshen up it's been feeling very blah lately and so i'm like you know what i feel so good after i take a shower so i just took a quick shower and i was thinking when i was in the shower before when i get into the shower and when i came to sit here i used more than a dozen different products just to get out of before i got out of the bathroom and that's only the bathroom that's only the bathroom that's not everything else that i'm doing all day the things that i'm eating the water that i'm drinking the things that i'm diffusing you know candle like all of the things all of the things you can hear my air doctor going off right now it is a um air purifier i'm obsessed with it worth every single penny um so i was like you know what let me just record a video showing you guys a little quick little short video showing you guys what my current favorite non-toxic products are one really the best tool that you can ever have to go on the ewg website there is i, I they have i've never searched a product that they didn't have if they're newer products then they probably don't have them on there but um, EWG is the Environmental Working Group, and you can go to the skin database. You can look up anything, anything, any product um, that you have, and just, they will rate it. I think it's one, I, I just know it's green, um, yellow, and red, and so it will rate your products. Certain things that you, that are advertised as safe, organic, clean, non-toxic, um, what is another word? I'm trying to look at these, like just, um just the ingredients and how it they um just the pretty bottle and you look and it says non-toxic and you're like look i have this non-toxic thing and it's like then you go on the ewg and it's a red and you're like what um so go on there and just start looking at the products you have now you don't have to overwhelm yourself finish using your dove body wash and when you're done with it then just make an investment in another one um most likely you're not gonna find the highest quality products at your grocery stores. It's just how it is. Thank God we have Amazon and we can search for anything and everything on there. Um, but I have been really trying lately to support local businesses by ordering directly from their website um, because I just have an ongoing appreciation for these people and most of them have the most beautiful stories. I um, did a video on Molly Suds and it was the most incredible story and how she came up with that product let's get into it okay um ooh, what do i do first so you guys know that i am obsessed with anything and everything beauty counter um now i don't love all of their products all of their products don't work for me um but their foaming face wash is divine it's divine your skin is your largest organ and you're putting these things on your body they're just important um their foaming face wash the other one i think it's like a cleanser it's to me it's terrible it's for sensitive skin but um this one's like foamy and buttery and it lasts so long but not only does it take a while that's why i want to share these with you guys because it takes a while to find good products like that are efficient and work good like you don't want something that's natural that like we've gone through so many different toothpaste brands finally i'm going to share it with you guys my favorite one ever um but you just you want something to be effective this is effective it's your face feels so like squeaky clean it doesn't dry you out i am obsessed with this this one is, i've got everybody that i know and love uh, hooked on this um so that is my first the second thing i've tried so many different I used to use Olplex. Um, I think it's like a four or a five on the EWG website. Um, and so I will literally just go on and try different shampoos. So I got one on Amazon um, that made my hair extremely greasy. Um, I am not gonna lie, I wash my hair every day, I have to. I don't like the smell of like outside and whatever else in my hair. I have so much hair I should not, but I just feel dirty if I don't wash my hair um, personally. This is a new one that I found on the EWG website. I've been using it. I'm almost out of it actually for almost a month now and I am obsessed with it. It does not make my hair greasy. My hair is so different than it ever was living here in Florida now versus home in New York. Um, the water is different. The humidity is different. My skin is completely 
completely different. Um, it's going through it right now, but um, I love this one. It makes my hair super soft and fluffy and I really, really love it. I am just, I still have a ton of my Olplex um, conditioner left, so I'm gonna use the rest of that and then I'll get this conditioner. So don't waste your products, don't throw things out, just slowly transi transition yourself and you will be like, oh, here I am. You will be surprised at how quick it goes. Oh, you guys, I wish that you could smell this so badly. So this is a really good one. I, this is the only body wash that I'll ever use. I've tried two, I tried the lavender and I tried the citrus or something. They don't compare to this one. This is Orchard and it is incredible. When I went on the bachelorette party in July, I had this and they were like, what is that smell? It smells amazing. It is the best. It only has eight ingredients. It's so, so good for your skin. It's not super soapy and sudsy um, because it's not supposed to be. We're not even supposed to be washing our bodies every single day, but we're just, that's just how it is. I like to. Um, the prebiotics, it's just health food for the skin. So plant-based ingredients, moisturize, purifies, age-defying, um, made with ultra-pure ingredients from earth and ocean. So I am so obsessed with it. Oh, I also use this as shaving cream. It's not cream, it's soap. But I use it to shave my legs, my armpits, um, and it works incredible. So it's a two-in-one. Colin also uses this, he uses it for his hair. Um, I tried to use it for my hair too, but um, I, I need a good scrubbing. Like I just need a really good scrubbing. You can get a good, a good um, sud on your body with this if you do it the right way. But I just, I need, I just am a freak about it. But Colin uses that on his hair and he loves it. I use these um, Dr. Brunner in my bathroom. I bought these, they were like 20 bucks. It is 24 fluid ounces. The thing that I love about this is I've had these for months in here. All you have to do is refill them. So I buy these, I forgot how much these are. Not much more expensive. Look at how much soap is in here. This is the thing. You don't. You, you're never supposed to use all um again i'm not a professional but i read somewhere that you're not supposed to use just pure soap you're supposed to dilute it um so this literally okay look at it. it says dilute dilute okay so you can literally wash your hands face body um wash your hair you can with water hand wash dishes and soft water you can use it on laundry to mop the floor to wash the dog all-purpose cleaner shave your face underarms and legs with this um one tablespoon and a quart of water to spray plants for bugs like come on this is just like your all-in-one whatever so all i do is i put like four ounces of this in the hair and the wrap four ounces maybe i forgot how much i do but it tells you on here what to do i want to say i do four ounces and then i put the rest water so it lasts forever and ever and ever i all for that i love that um so i have one for the bathroom this one is like brand new i still um have to open it when i'm out of that and then i have the citrus one for the kitchen that i just use in the kitchen it is watery like it's not soapy but again you're not supposed to use um like pure soap i used to, i love like trust me a, your girl loves like mrs is it mrs myers or whatever the scents like they're incredible but that is that one's not good i read somewhere that i think i wonder what it says on ewg but like certain things that we think are good i was like oh my gosh someone said these are good it's not um the ewg it will just show you what it's rated so let's go to i'll search mine dr brunner's another thing is check different you should if when you want to or if you can ever go fragrance free it's always a better option like some things will be way better fragrance free but depending on what the scent is um some of these can be touchy so like see on here the organic hair rinse citrus is a three so just going by like a different fragrance um i'm trying to look for search for lavender okay so here's mine organic pump soap sugar lavender it 
the one dr brenner's and you can use it for so many different things so just go on here and search um you can literally buy them in like big gallon things um i love the uw website i am also obsessed so what i use for my body lotion i don't lotion my body every single day um i probably should but to me it's a little bit like exhausting it's just exhausting um so i use smear i need to go get it in the fridge but i stored in the fridge i forgot to get it on here but i also have three of these peppermint and vanilla honey these are their lip balms they're my favorite i also put these in the fridge um this one was in my purse they feel so good so like cooling this is a small business her name is brit smear by brit um it is beef tallow which is extremely nourishing to your body and um i love supporting her i love everything that she stands by she calls out brands that um that are really not good brands and charging astronomical things for um really unhealthy things for the body so i love she has a ton of different um i've done i showed you guys on a vlog if you haven't seen before let me pull up her instagram yeah it's so good i put mine in the fridge like i said i use it on the kids i use it on me it is so freaking nourishing like i can't even i can't even begin to tell you like it's so good you guys i love it she restocks every single monday she's always coming with out with different things i actually um messaged her the other day i was like can you please make like a little lip butter like for at night you know they they had the laneige i got rid of those um no if you know you know beauty counters lip jellies i never don't have one of these but yeah i asked Britt to make like a nighttime little lip mask um so yeah her body butter is what i use for lotion i also have some beauty counter lotion i don't use it a ton because um i just use it like if i need to on my hands but for the most nourishing like feeling i use the tallow okay so the kids i only use three products on the kids um they don't get anything in their hair obviously like after they take a shower um they get the smear by brit um as lotion um and these i I've, i'm like a big honest girl i've always used honest they have really clean products we still get their diaper subscription i use their wipes um and i always used their bath stuff so i really recommend that the unscented but this was a new brand that i saw and i really liked actually i'm lying my girlfriend told me about this and um i just wanted to like switch it up this was this is vanilla and elang elang if you know you know um and i really love this it smells so yummy it's nice and like thick and again i know this is annoying but like very nourishing when i put it on the kids and it's for their hair and their body so that's like another really good one that i love it's tear free non-toxic clean ingredients this is a new one my kids love to take bubble baths sometimes we take two a day if I find they're really antsy, I'll be like, all right, we're going in the bath. We put our Bluetooth speaker on. We listen to some Coco, some Moana, some Lion King, some Rio, like just all the things. And I use this bubble bath. I found this. Someone on Instagram posted. I can't remember who. But um, actually the other day, the kids, Mammix actually, dumped this entire thing in the bath when I went to go get a towel before I had them in the bath. And so that was like really fun for me. Um, and Whole Foods had a sale on them for like seven or eight dollars. So I stocked up. I bought two. I got like a strawberry something. It's in the other, it's in the bathroom. So good. But right now we have the coconut chamomile. I like to do because we do our baths at night. It is so yummy. It's so delicious. Mm, smells so good and obviously clean. So this is the kids bubble bath. I don't even know how to say this at all. So I'm just going to show it to you. Um, and I didn't realize this, but so alifia alifia is a social enterprise on a mission to create more sustainable oh i also have in here wasn't going to talk about this but for that time of the month you have to inv look into ditching your tampons pads whatever the heck you're using and get yourself a um a period cup this is salt s-a-a-l-t 
um educate yourself on it i'm not a pro but i'm telling you now this has changed my life it changed the way that i feel when i have my period it has just changed the entire game for me and i promote it to anyone and everyone that i know and i love and i care about because this is an essential and it's non-toxic and you literally have the same one for years and you don't ever have to worry about buying or sticking anything disgusting up there again okay so do like this is another one of my taking like grabbing the world's ending i'm grabbing my tongue scraper i got this off amazon super cheap i do this every morning this shit that comes off your tongue is disgraceful and you need this you literally take it out and you just scrape your tongue and it's like you never felt that like you just feel like a queen rise well toothpaste you guys I'm super excited because they just restocked their kids and so I'm getting the kids some um, this is a mineral toothpaste and it is it is I literally look forward to brushing my teeth in the morning it's incredible like like I said we've gone through it with the different trying different products and um, I remember we got like a uh, coconut oil based one and Colin was like, Ash, I, I'm all for all of this stuff, but I just, I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, so that just really what inspired me today was just going through all of these products and realizing um, we also have a water filter for our shower. There's certain websites you can look up what is in your actual water based on where you live because it's all different. Um, I never looked because I was terrified and I knew it was garbage. When we got here, it smelled like chlorine really badly so does my parents hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope this inspires you to take a step back and don't be overwhelmed be grateful for the information and just start to educate yourself on how important it is for our bodies like our bodies are were built to keep us alive and keep us going and no matter how many times we mistreat it it still fights to wake us up every single day and i think that is incredible and that's the beauty of life and i think we need to give back and we need to nourish it. I don't know about you, but I want to live a long, beautiful, meaningful, healthy life. And all of these things are so, so important to our well-being. And I think it's important to educate our kids on that. And the more you know, when you know better, then you can do better. And the more you know, then you can make your own educated decision on what is best for you and what is best for your family. And there's always a way to make it work. So slowly but surely, every single thing, I still use toxic hairspray i use moroccan oil it's probably literally like off the charts i should probably look i don't even look but i just put a little bit in my hair and it's just it is what it is so you just you can't do everything um but you just you do your best so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in another vlog again i hope that you enjoyed this make sure that you like and subscribe if you made it all the way to the end um and that's it see you guys later